Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and in today's video, guys, we're going to be taking a look at a Gengar Amistar deck, a really cool deck that probably is just mainly made for crazy combo, and Gengar Mimikyu is a cool card. We looked at it recently, and we're going to look at it again. This time, we're looking at it with Amistar here. Before we get into today's PDCGO video, of course, Shout out to our sponsor over at Card Cavern TCG. If you guys need to get any team up codes, if you guys need any pack codes, anything like that, make sure you guys go buy them off of Card Cavern TCG. And you can also use code LDF for a discount on your purchase. So let's look at what this deck is all about. It's a weird deck. Um, it's one of the only other ways I can think to play Gengar Mimikyu. So uh, yeah, there's that. So Amistar here is a cool card. Both Amistar and Kabutops are really powerful. Um, they both have strong abilities. So Amistar's ability falls the bind. As long as you have fewer Pokemon in play than your opponent, you they can't play any item cards from their hand. This is a very strong ability, basically preventing them from playing items when you have less Pokemon in play, which is pretty easy to do with this deck because we only have five Pokemon in this deck. So we're going to mulligan a lot of this deck most likely but we only play five Pokemon in this deck. So there's not a lot of Pokemon in here. So most of the time we're gonna only have two Pokemon in play, which is pretty easy to activate Fossil Bind. And when we activate it, the opponent can't play any items. And this combos so well with Gengar and Mimikyu's Attack Poltergeist, which for two Psychics does 50 damage. Your opponent reveals their hand does 50 damage for each trainer card you find there. So that's a really strong ability or attack, sorry. Um, this allows you to actually use it with the effect of supporters. Supporters do count, stadiums count, and of course, items count. And when we Amistar them, they can't play items. It's not an insanely great combo. Obviously, it's more just a crazy combo, but it's very reminiscent of Vilgar in a way. Uh, Vilgar used to be one of my favorite decks to play um, a long time ago when that deck was big. So this brings back a lot of nostalgia for me. And we're gonna try this out. Gengar does also have Horror House GX, which can be really good to set up with this deck. There is a huge problem with playing Amistar, is that it is a fossil, so you have to evolve it from an unidentified fossil, which is a bit of an issue. Um, and you have to rare candy into Amistar, so it's not going to set up entirely, completely in one turn, but we are going to use unidentified fossil to kind of help. So this deck probably would be a little bit better in Expanded with Maxis and Involtric. Um, but yeah, we're going to use Gengar here. We're going to try and use Horror House, and this will slow the opponent down a little bit, and hopefully it gives us the turn to get Amistar into place. That's kind of the idea, and one of the things I like about having Horror House in this deck is it lets us set up so that we can get Amistar into play. Um, the thing with this deck is you can't really play that much Pokemon, so it's actually a bit of a deck that's kind of like, what do you put in here? There's not that many like guards and cards in standard that I think can really go into a deck like this. This is why I think maybe this deck would be a bit funner in the expanded format, but yeah, what do you put in Gengar and Amistar? Well, we can start with Crushing Hammer, uh, allowing us to slow the opponent down as much as we can. We are playing Plumeria to support that. Um, I was really wavering as to whether or not I could put a Lusamine in this deck or not. I think a Lusamine would be fine in here if you want to run like a 1-1 Lusamine, you can. So it's up to you if you want to play Lusamine. But this is like a deck that takes prizes, it's not a stall deck, right? So it's like, you're not stalling the opponent out. You don't really need Lusamine in my eyes, because Gengar will be taking one-shots a lot of the time if you're lucky enough. So there's going to be times where you don't need you don't need Lusamine, so you probably don't need to play it in this deck. Um, but I was wavering on the idea of Lusamine, but I am playing four Crushing Hammers, two Fossil Osvation Maps, of course, to get our Fossils into play for Amistar. Again, there's so many cards you can put in this deck, didn't really know what to run because we only play 5 Pokemon, so I decided to put in 2 copies of Life Herb, mainly just here to heal, I mean, why not? There's not really anything else I can think of to put in here, to be honest with you, so I just threw in 2 Life Herbs, but these can help heal your Gengar and Mimikyu, you know, you can potentially heal 60 from it, which is pretty useful, so I am actually going to be playing 2 Life Herbs, I am playing 1 Treasure, this can search us for our Gengar and Mimikyu, Four rare candies to go to uh, Amistar from an unidentified fossil. One switch in case they try to bring out Amistar. I guess that's one thing to consider is playing multiple switches. Uh, we got four Ultra Balls in the deck to search for your Pokemon. Four unidentified fossils. 
I decided this deck needs a stadium, didn't know what stadium to run, so I ultimately decided on Viridian Forest because it allows you to find your psychic energies to attack with Gengar. One copy of Ace Rolla to heal your Gengar potentially for Cynthia's, one Erica's Hospitality for Lilies. There's a lot of draw support in this deck, but again, there's no Leleys or anything like that. No Zoark, no Macargo, there's no like consistent draw engine. So I'm just gonna play a bunch of supporters to kind of support that. Uh, two Guzmas. One thing I would consider is maybe three Guzmas because it is important for Amistar here. But there's nothing to Guzma really into on your end. It's really just here to switch Amistar out of the active spot. Same thing with why I'm playing like a Kate and Liza. Um, two Plumerians, again, just a nice little slowdown card. I am playing one copy of Faba to be able to also put it, especially into the Lost Zone. Now I am playing two Volkners. Now, Bill's analysis could be fine in here too, but I'm actually just instead going with Volkner instead. Just straight up search deck for an item. This is probably better than playing Bill's analysis in my eyes. If we had light energy, that'd be great. But just playing Volkner for rare candy, Volkner for fossil on turn one can be really good. So I just was like, yeah, two Volkner seems good. Uh, now for my tools, Choice Band's okay in here, but I actually ultimately decided on Choice Helmet and weakness policy. You shall know why weakness policy is in here. If you run into Zoark, we use weakness policy, though you're probably gonna lose to Zoark anyways. I don't really know this deck can beat it. It's just there for the insurance. But Choice Helmet is here also so that Gengar can take a bit more damage from GXs and nine psychics. I mean, really with this deck, you don't need any more than like that nine energy because once your opponent takes out two Gengar Mimikyu's, you lose. So it's like, it's a straightforward deck. You just attack with Gengar and Mimikyu. If your opponent is able to take out both your Gengar, it, take out two Gengar Mimikyu's, you're just gonna lose the game. So that's basically that. But this is such a wacky, weird deck that I'm excited to try it out. Is there anything else that you guys think I could have put in this deck? Definitely let me know what I could have improved upon. There's another Amistar, like, kind of lock deck like this. Uh, there's an Amistar Glaceon deck that I might try out. That deck has gotten a little bit of hype. It did well in Japan. So maybe that deck could be something I can consider covering. I think the list was playing Vaporeons, which I don't actually have any Vaporeons. So I don't really know. Uh, but I might try out Vaporeon, Glaceon, Amistar. That seems like a fun deck. But yeah, let's go try out this wacky Gengar, Amistar, crazy combo deck. And uh, let's see uh, how we do with it. All right, guys, let's go do some games with Gengar, Amistar. This is obviously a meme deck. I'm not expecting insane results, but we'll see what we are up against. Not a Zoark deck, that's good. As long as I don't see Dark, I'll be happy. Argo Tails and the coin flip. Toad it out! Bro, why you gotta let me down? You gotta let me down. No. Alright, so we actually got a fairly strong starting hand, though. The turn one Lily is really good. The turn one Lily is really good. We're up against fighting, which can be nice. Gengar is resistant to fighting. Choice Helmet. Could be a huge player in this matchup, too, hopefully. Yes, play a bunch of cards down from your hand. I didn't mulligan either, I don't think, which is good. Okay, we have nine tails, that's fine. So we can horror house them, we can do a lot here. We can crush and hammer the energy they attach to their rock rough, which is good. Don't have to worry too much about, like, rock, I guess, can, like, bring out my Amistar, which is pretty annoying. They actually can do a copycat, interesting. So that could be a problem. They're playing Ditto. I don't know. Don't know what to expect. We drew another energy. Not great. We'll Christian Hammer. Nice. Good heads. We'll Lily for four. Do we find a fossil? We do. And we got rare candy. We don't have access to Amistar. Do I hold the horror house? Or do I sit on it? I mean. Might as well horror house him. I don't see any problem with that. We can try and knock out the Vulpix next turn. He'll get a turn of Beacon, but I I don't really mind doing horror house here. Just slow the opponent down a little bit. If we can draw Amistar, that'd be good. We start doing Plumerias too. The only problem is he can line can rock up my Amistar. And we only don't we don't have an insane amount of switching cards and we have none of them in our hand. I guess I get to play down Viridian Forest to find energy, but I don't want to give my opponent the luxury of getting energy either. So we should probably knock him out. His hand is massive. All right. All right, screw it. We'll play Verdian Forest. Well, Cynthia, I'm looking for Amistar Rare Candy here. And we got it. We don't have a way to switch, which is a problem. We did get the Amistar here, which is nice. 
tempted to play Viridian Forest. Don't need to. So Poltergeist. See what they got going on. They have Cosmog in their deck. What on earth? Okay, so they can't play that choice band. Which is good. So we're gonna... Oh, we're not even knocking them out. That's fine. But if they draw an item, remember they can't play it. And there's another Crushing Hammer. That's really good. Alright. Honestly, not too common we get the turn Drama Star, but we were able to get it there, so that's good. I guess they can Viridian Forest the Choice Band away if they want. I don't know what Cosmog's doing in this deck, though. That's really confusing. Unless it's... Unless they're playing Sogaleo GX. But, um... What would Sogaleo GX benefit in this deck? I do not know. Okay, they're gonna get Beast Energy on Buzz. That's fine, you know? We're Psychic type. Buzz will is pretty easy to one-shot. They're probably going to like and arc up my Amistar, though. 100%, yep. So, I might just attach, trying to retreat it. Looks like Ditto might be stuck in the active for a turn. Hopefully they Cynthia into a bunch of items. Let's see. Nope. So they will Viridian Forest. Maybe, maybe it was a big mistake putting this down, because it does actually give my opponent... Way to retreat. All right, so we drew Fossil Station Map. I will attach to try and retreat. Though if I draw a switch, nice big heads. We got rid of that. I guess I could have Viridian Forced away that, but we'll see what we draw. Yeah, we didn't draw switching cards. So that's fine. We got Tame Lives for next turn, so that's fine. We'll play that. Guzma would be a bit better than Guzma possible. Viridian Force is kind of hurting me because they can actually just get rid of item cards. Which is a problem, but as long as they just have two trainers in their hand, we one-shot Buzzle anyways, so I'm not too upset. I would like to get a Guzma here. Maybe it is better to play three, but again, like, you can't really Guzma if you only have a Gengar and Amistar in play. Because what will you target? You'll have to bring out your Amistar, so there's some repercussions with that. My opponent will play a Tapu Lele down. They're probably gonna... They're either gonna get, like, a Guzma or something here, I'm guessing. No, it's Cynthia. Uh, hopefully they bump the Viridian Forest soon, because I actually might want this gone. I actually don't like them getting rid of their item cards, in case they ever attack with Lycanroc. Okay, they, they got rid of it, so now they can't use Viridian Forest to get rid of their items, which is good. We got a Choice Helmet, so now they're doing, like, no damage. Might as well just Volkner for, like, a switch, which is prized. Okay, never mind. Might as well get... Get Mysterious Treasure then, I guess. Sure. We'll just retreat. So we should knock him out here. We just literally need one item in his hand. Okay, he's got two. He has a Kikui and another Guzma. He might do Guzma. It's fine, we got another. We're holding on to the Taint Lizard for a reason. Got an unidentified focus. He's actually going to bring out the Cosmog. Interesting. Nice thing here, he doesn't have access to B-String. Yeah, he's doing Guzma. I saw that coming. Buzzwool is doing no damage to me, though, which is good, thanks to the Choice Helmet, so that's nice. I guess he can set up a knockout, so... Might actually be better to try and get another Foss on the play. But we'll taint Liza. I don't think we're knocking him out, unfortunately. He scoops. Alright, there we go. Boom. Gengar Amistar against a Buzzrock. With a random Sogaleo in it. I, that's weird. What the heck? I guess, like, the Sogaleo's there to, like, be able to, like, attack and build up Buzzle. Play more of a heavier Lycanroc engine, though. This is an interesting deck. A lot of items, though, and a lot of trainers, for that matter. So, really good stuff. Really good stuff. Gengar Amistar taking the first dub. Taking the first dub. Pretty beautiful. Alright, well, I'll see you guys in a minute with another game. Alright guys, let's go do some more meme games with Gengar Omastar. It is nice to play Gengar sometimes. Uh, one thing I kind of like about playing again with it is you never know what your opponent has in their hand. So that's funny. Alright, we're up against Granbull. I don't like playing against Granbull, period. But they do have a lot of items that they do rely on. So, And we go first. So if we can turn to Omastar them, honestly, we can probably win this game. Because they may not have a way to efficiently get their hand down to zero so literally Amistar is going to be how we're going to win this game which is good so I can definitely feel it cards like Faba I guess are kind of useless in this matchup but whatever honestly I'm kind of feeling a third Volkner too just 
Again, being able to hit turn two Oma Stars is super key. And all right, nice. We did find the Gengar. We didn't get an energy though, which is a problem because our hand is great right now. So I'm hoping we can top deck an energy here. If not, I'm still probably gonna do Volkner because we still Horror House some, which is still pretty good. Because we'll Volkner for the Fossil, Rare Candy, Amistar next turn, and Crush Hammer, Cynthia into an energy, Horror House some, and go from there. But again, if we can at least get the Amistar going, they literally can't do anything because most of their deck relies on trainers. Like Ultra Ball is one of the most important cards within their deck. Uh, great balls are important too, and they can't play any of that. They're golden, and they just drew a bunch of cards, which doesn't really help their case that much when they want to get out of the item locks. That's good. I'm right, doing Ultra Ball, so we'll just do Volkner. For I guess I can get Fossil Estivation map. This actually thins a bit more. But if we prize the Fossil, we prize the Gengar, prize the Psychic Energy. We got all our crushing hammers, we got our life herb, we got all our candies. We got our Viridian Forest. Okay, that's good. So we'll just get Fossil Salvation Map. This thins the deck out a little bit more. We can get Amistar down next turn. Sadly, no energy attachment. That would have made this a bit better, but whatever, it's fine. Gengar should one-shot Gramble fairly easily when their deck is mostly just items. So see what they do. They might actually Guzma me up. If they do that, I'll just rare candy cane Liza. Hopefully that works. If not, we'll Cynthia. Okay, we Shrine might be a bit of a pain. The only way to bump that is reverting forest. So that's gonna be pretty annoying to deal with. Gramble's not doing a whole lot of damage to me though, so it's not a big problem. My opponent could do make a mess. That would be a problem. Because they could actually damage me and they get to discard cards from their hand. I'm expecting to play a lot of items here, but that's fine. Again, once we get the Amistar into play, it literally doesn't matter. Because there's almost going to be no way they're going to be able to get their hand down to zero. Unless they have, like, a supporter that discards from their hand, like a Spalkies, but that won't matter. So they're going to lost Blender. They're going to play a lot of items, but again, we get the item lockup, we're good. They get rid of a Field Blower and a Stretcher. Shrine's the only annoying thing. This is kind of why I did, like, the idea of playing Lusamine. Because Lusamine does help you out a little bit. They might actually be able to play their hand down here. Great. So yeah, we should pour for some. They might actually be able to play their hand down. They have three cards in their hand. Awesome. This I hate playing against Ramble Man, if you haven't already noticed. I will horror house them. Honestly, I'm feeling old in the hand. I kind of like it, in case he goes with me. Nah, we'll send him. We'll play the Cynthia Yolo. Would be nice to have a Judge. There's a Switch. Alright, we didn't get another Energy, which is fine. We'll just do Horror House. Shine's gonna be a bit of a problem. We actually don't have that many good cards within our hand. Our hand's kind of unplayable. So that's the problem. But, you know, the turn to Amistar against a matchup like this is insanely good. But we need to find a way to deal with this Shrine of Punishments. Yeah, we didn't find anything there. We'll Treasure, get rid of the Ultra Ball. Let's get Gengar. So unfortunately, we don't have an Energy. Bit of a problem. It's fine, we're just gonna pass. I'm not gonna play the Gengar down in case, you know, in case something happens. It doesn't really matter, he filled his entire board up. But I don't want to play down because of Shrine too, so there is that reason. But again, we'll see. If my opponent's able to get their hand down to zero this turn, I'm going to be flabbergasted. But again, without access to their Ultra Balls, it's not going to matter. They might actually be able to knock out Amistar here, though. Maybe it is beneficial to try and find another Fossil. The near river, where the Great Ball and Ultra Ball. Two cards they cannot play. They might actually set up a Guzma, though, on me. I need to find my Viridian Forest, too. Viridian Forest does help them, which is annoying, but it gets rid of the Shrine. Maybe we can win the game, though, just with Shrine, to be honest. We can probably win the game with Shrine ticking me down. I do play two Life Herbs. I do have an Ace Rolla. So, maybe I can win. Who knows? We just need to find Energy Top Deck. One of the problems with this deck is, one, getting the Amistar into play can be very unreliable. And, of course, two is relying on just a bunch of supporters to get your deck going. 
There's no, like, you can't really run Lele in this deck or anything. So I'm assuming they're getting a Guzma there to try and bring out Amistar. That's my best guess. Can we finally attack? Yes, we can. We should be able to knock them out. Yeah. Yep, knew it. They grabbed, they got four Guzmas going on. We got four items, 200 damage. We'll take our prize. Looking for Life Herb. Nope. Life Herb would be huge next turn. So they can still attack me with all out. They can do 30, which is kind of annoying. But we can always one-shot them with Gengar. I guess we don't really need Plumeri in this matchup, though, to be honest. Let's see if they do Guzma on my Amistar. I'm really curious to see if they'll do Guzma on Amistar here. Yep. Probably gonna bring out Ditto. No, Rangoon. That's fine. Will Guzma knock out Gramble? This is good, too. They don't get to attack me and do 30 to me, which is somewhat relevant. The more damage they do, the more Gengar could get KO'd, which is a problem, so I guess it's good that we got the Guzma in our hand. We have a Switch also, so like, we'll have an access to Switch. Can we find a Brilliant Force? Another energy. So we have it for Gengar when we need it, which is good. So we'll Guzma up Gramble. We'll hold off on playing down the energy in Gengar for just one turn. I actually gotta be a little careful with how many um, things I play. How many... Pokemon I play down, because it might come to the point where my opponent might be out of Pokemon. Ooh, we got an Amistar. So I could do Plumeria and stuff, get rid of that other Amistar if I really wanted to, which might be okay. We'll see if Gengar can carry us to the game. The only, he's probably going to do another Guzman here, I'm guessing, because he does have one in his hand. And I guess Smoothover is letting him not draw into his items. Yeah, he's going to Guzma up my Amistar. That's fine, we got to switch. We know his hand is just an Ultra Ball and a Great Ball, too. So we could do Smooth Over and Ranguru, or she can. He might all out me for 30. And we're actually not going to knock out uh, the Gramble here. We might actually be stuck doing 100 a turn now, because Smooth Over will let him get whatever he wants. So maybe it's beneficial to try and take out Makargo if we can get another Guzma here. But they do instruct, they kind of break that uh, smooth over getting only two items in their hand type of lock that they can put on me. I don't really see a problem with this. If they're instructed, if that draws them an item, this is amazing because we can knock out Gramble. What do we draw? Weakness policy, that's something we can play. Just to burn it, we'll switch into Gengar. We shouldn't have another Guzma, so we should be good. I'm just Poltergeist. Please tell me you drew an item with that Instruct. No, it's a fairy energy. That sucks. So we probably have to start playing Gengar down next turn. He's gonna hit me decently. He's gonna get a bit of damage on me here. We'll do Lily next turn, too. I could have, I guess, given Plumeria, obviously, but I was banking on the fact that they instructed to do an item. But it's literally impossible for them to get all out going at this point, so... I'm fine. One of the only problems, though, with putting Gengar down is that it does give my opponent the turn, so I actually might hold off on it. Fab is a big top deck. We can get rid of that. That's gonna help. We'll knock him out Poltergeist. Hopefully they got three items in their hand. The only thing now is a, just to find a switching card. Maybe I should start touching the Amistar. Yeah, you know, I think it's a good idea. Just next turn we'll do it. Next turn we'll start touching the Amistar. But getting rid of that shrine is huge. Hopefully they're unable to get another supporter here or another stadium. But yeah, I just don't want to play down any more Pokemon. So they're gonna. All right, thank you. Put more Pokemon into play. So they're probably gonna get Guzma. We'll attach to Amistar here. They might get another shrine. We'll see. They'll attach. No, they aren't. Okay. Interesting. So let's attach. We top deck life herb. I rip up. I put you in the deck for a reason, and it paid off. Let's go. That is huge. Lily for one. Not really worth it. We'll poltergeist. We know we're knocking out the group with a ranguru. So they got. Yeah. Thing going on. That's fine. They might have gotten a guzma, but they did. We attached on the star for a reason. We'll see what our top deck or prizes. Another fossil. Our hand is set up perfectly for that, so that's good. Let's see what they got. I'm assuming they just want to keep getting Goosebumps. No, they just keep getting Pokemon down. That's not going to help you win the game. 
I guess they could do make a move. You know what? They actually might be able to reach good numbers next turn. With make a mess. Yikes. This is actually a problem. They can get rid of both those trainer cards. Which really sucks. Oh my gosh. They can actually gramble me. I didn't think it was ever possible, but they actually can gramble me here. So yeah, we actually need to panic and put Gengar down. I didn't think the day would come. No, maybe we didn't need to do it. Mm. Yeah, because they can't play items. No, but they could still... No, because their hand is still low enough. They could still smooth over and struck four in energy. So they still would have... Yeah, they still would have gotten a, gang, or a gramble off this turn. So yeah, it's fine. doesn't matter if I did that or not. They actually got rid of the energy recycling system. I didn't even know that. Well, what is Poltergeist? I don't even know if this knocks him out yet, doesn't what am I even saying? Okay, so this is a small problem now. This is a small problem. The Amistar is still online though. They still have four Pokemon in play. Yeah, that make a mess was a that was a mess and a half. They can do instruct. Need them. Yeah, it's actually pretty bad. They could actually make a mess me out of the entire game if they really wanted to. Oh, they're gonna goose me again. They're still bringing out Mama Star. Interesting. Great. Now their hand has nothing in it. That's so. That's awesome. Got a crushing hammer. That's huge. And we got heads. That's also huge. Might just do Plumeria. You know, well, we could probably run them out of energy at this point too. Uh, what do I get rid of though? I guess the fossil can go. But if Amistar gets knocked out. Yeah, screw it. We're playing Big Boy League. But I want to do a Lily next turn. But they are low on energies. They still need to get Gramble, no cards in hand, and energy to deal with Amistar. And we could probably retreat next turn. Well played, though. That Make a Mess is very annoying. Despite this matchup being, I think, almost an auto win, Make a Mess makes a mess in terms of, in terms of us being able to win. Figured they would get Shrine. So they're gonna just keep getting rid of these items, dude. This is so annoying. We need to get a Guzma so we can knock out a cargo or something or bring it out in the active spot. We got Taint Liza top deck, that's pretty big. I have to go on the other Gengar for now anyways. Can't bring out this. If I if you get somehow a Gramble here and knocks me out, I'm screwed. If we actually lose because of make a mess, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so 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 salty. Let's see what he does. Or she does. Once we are able to get Poltergeist damage back, we're good. We just do, they keep doing make a mess, man. It's so annoying. We just need to, like, just keep crushing hammering them. This is where Lusamine would actually be good. So we can Lusamine. We could just keep getting back Plumeria and a Viridian Forest at some point, too, if it ever came down to it. Ooh, they got more cards in their hand. Crushing hammers are going to be big. We only have, we still have two left, right? We still have three left. We can get rid of their energy. This will be great. They're going to put a Gramble down. They're going to make a mess. They're going to get rid of two trainers again. Like, bruh, stop it. Stop doing that. God, that's annoying. <sighs> Lily. There's a Crushing Hammer. That's what we're looking for. We got another Plumeria, which is amazing. 
shrine that was bad. Uh, we can uh, do Plumeria or Volkner next turn, which is nice. Plumeria away Choice Helmet maybe our top deck. We need to deal with the smooth over engine though, because they can again they can keep smooth overing for the energy. We're so close to winning though, we just need to take two prizes. We're getting wrecked by a 70 HP snubble. Like, how does this even happen? Oh my gosh, dude. Stop doing make a mess! Bro, this is so annoying. Oh my gosh. I'm actually gonna have an aneurysm. Oh my gosh, bro. The snubble is cheesing me so hard. I actually would really like a Guzma right now, so I could just trap my cargo in the active room and then stupid make a mess with stop. Oh my gosh, we're actually gonna lose because of make a mess. I quit, bro. I actually quit. <laughs> I full on quit. She still has fairies left, too. Well, hopefully she has some prize. She hasn't taken a single prize yet. Yo, I'm, I'm getting... Oh, I'm getting tilted, boys. Okay, only one card, but that doesn't matter because... Bro, this is so annoying. Make a mess is so stupid. Unbalanced attack, nerf now. That was a horrible lily, oh my gosh. Did it peek at their hand? Oh my gosh. Dude, we're actually gonna lose to this snubble. Yo, I'm full on tilted right now, bruh. I, I can't even look. I don't wanna look. Yo, we're actually gonna get wrecked by this snubble, though. Oh my god. Yo, I don't know what to say. I actually don't know what to say. The snubble is literally gonna beat us. We're gonna lose to a snubble. Okay. <sighs> this is actually ridiculous. This is the most ridiculous game of Pokemon I've ever had in my life. Big life herbs. We know their hand is a Macargo though, which is not really helping. Bro, I'm actually like full on like... Oh my gosh. The levels of salt right now are so high. This snubble is actually just gonna wreck me. I'm actually gonna lose to make a mess. I hate Gramble with a fiery passion, dude. This is not... I, I hate a Gramble from the start, but, uh... <laughs> this game ain't helping. This game is just making me hate the deck even more. Man, here I am saying this is like an auto win for us. And here, uh, we're gonna literally lose the game. I actually don't think we can win. I literally don't think we can. Unless we can... We need a Guzma. If we can get Guzma, there's a pretty good chance we can maybe trap Macargo out. Guzma's like our last hope right now. Literally, our only last hope is to get a Guzma and then hope that Macargo doesn't retreat. Stop doing make a mess! My god. That's not helping. The best we can do is thin out the deck. We don't even have a Guzma, bruh. We still have two crushing hammers and an ace roller to help us out. We have, oh, they're good. I really hope they don't have more shots. This is really bad, bro. I actually might be better to try and get our unidentified fossils back, too. Maybe if they KO Armor Stars, they'll stop doing Make a Mess. I don't know. But make a Mess, dude. Are you serious? We're actually just, we're gonna lose because of Make a Mess. Like, I, I don't even know what to say anymore. I don't know what to say. But if, again, if I can Guzma up the Macargo, we could win the game. As long as they're out of shines, because they are very low on cards in their deck. I guess I need an ace roller too. Boy, this is actually embarrassing. And making me so mad. This is making me so mad. Alright, what do we draw? Drew a lily. I don't think it matters at this point.
We can keep, we can stall going to Fossil next turn. Do I Ultra Ball? Nah, I'm gonna hold. I don't want to get rid of anything in my hand. I don't want to get rid of this in case Hunter Shine comes down. So we're gonna lose Amistar. We can maybe get another one in play. Actually, no, we can't run a Earth Candies. Never mind. But they are low on cards, which is a good thing. But they haven't played a single stretcher yet, which is a bad thing. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we actually just got destroyed by a Snubble. I I don't believe that's a thing, but no. Yes. Yeah. You, you, I'm literally going to title this video, You Won't Believe How I Lost to it. You Won't Believe How I Lost. This is actually insane, dude. I'm full on tilted, but at the same time, like, I'm, I am so just wowed by how this has come. I'm actually, like, in shock right now. Like, straight up, I'm in shock at how I'm losing this game. If we, if we had our other Guzma, my plan would just be bring out my cargo. What do we draw? Not helping. I don't know what I have left. Again, I could still try and win with Crushing Hammer, maybe. Gotta then hope this thing can knock out. Another shrine comes down. I am also screwed. Wow, dude. What? This snubble is the face of evil. I can't believe I just lost to... Oh, I'm not ruling out the game is over yet, but it ain't looking good. We can maybe run them out of energy. That's literally my last resort. It's just hope we run them out of energy. Um, maybe we could win. I, I don't know. If they, get, if they get their hand down to zero, there's literally no way. Because if we somehow are able to take a prize with Poltergeist next turn, that would be pretty big. That would be pretty big. Rip. Ooh, they don't have the knockout. Nice. Alright, what do we draw? I was looking for crushing hammers. It's not helping. are in there. Still have a bunch of cards left, too. Man, if we didn't prize our other Guzma, that'd be amazing, because I would really like to just Guzma my cargo up, because my opponents played four Guzmas, and at that point, I don't really know if we can lose, but nope, not gonna happen. Though. Do I discard this? I might just let him take the prize. Only problem is, too, those Christian Hammers get Tails. We're, we're done for. Yeah, I think I just discard this. Damn, bro. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Gengar Amistar, what are you doing? We got really unlucky, too, with that last Guzma being prized. Now I really wish I played three. I really did. But, like, the only thing I would maybe take out is maybe this treasure or the life herbs. But, like, those life herbs actually kind of helped a little bit. They low-key saved me. I gotta hope they deck out first. I doubt it's possible, but you never know. They only they have, She has three cards left. My plan is literally at this point just hope they deck out. Now their hand is down to zero. Crushing Hammer is just what we're looking for right now. Really would like a Crushing Hammer. If we top deck Crushing Hammer, which we should, everything in the deck I think is good to top deck. We should hopefully be able to top deck out of this. Crushing, if we can get heads on Crushing Hammer, this is huge. They got one card in their hand, we can do 50 to them. What do you do?
we're getting decked out soon too. It's fine. We're looking near the crushing here. No! <laughs> Bro, come on. Crushing hammer, what are you doing? Might just have to do this. Hope for the best. Wow, we got chin we got chin so hard by that crushing hammer. We just needed one crushing hammer heads. These lists only play like seven fairies. We still have one left, so we can we should be able to I will be fine. Again, I have Cynthia to help me out a little bit. Never mind. That, 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 is that gonna shuffle? If they don't shuffle, this could be big. Dang it, they are. Dang it. But they still have to draw cards, so it's fine. If we can get heads in this last Christian Amber, we might be able to win. Wish I played more energy removal cards. Wish I played more Guzmas, and I wish... I don't know. Dang it, they don't need to draw. So, we just need to hope to find Crushing Hammer. And we could win the game. Maybe. There's there's a chance. This needs to get heads. And it was the secret rare crushing hammer too. Crushing hammer. How could you betray me like that? Oh my gosh. Well, we lose. Oh god. I don't even I don't even know what to say guys. I honestly don't know what to say. I, I just I don't know what to say. I don't know how do I lose, bro? Like straight up. How do I lose to Gramble? This is like a deck where if you shut them out of items, you straight up win the game. I just I'm done. I'm I'm straight up done. We got betrayed so hard by Crushing Hammer at the end there. Literally, I think we just needed one head and we could have won the game because they would have just been out of... <sighs> Man, dude. Wow. Yeah, they only had seven energy. So if we hit one heads on Crushing Hammer, we would have won the game. We would have won the game if we hit heads on Crushing Hammer. Wow, bro. That is one of the weirdest games I've ever had. That Snubble... I... I already hate Gramble a lot, but that Snubble now makes me just want Gramble to just get banned, even though it won't, it's not going to get banned, it's not even bannable, but that will have piece of video, I'm going to just end it there, honestly, that game was pretty, pretty exciting, not going to lie. Once I calm down from the salt, I'm sure I'll feel better, but uh, that, this is Gengar Amistar, it's a fun little meme deck to play, again, it's not, it's not competitive, there's a reason why it's a crazy combo deck in my crazy combo series because it's all about playing just fun combos they don't have to be too serious or competitive but this was just a fun combo to play i don't know man that gramble game makes me really sad that i can't believe we actually got a lot we just got destroyed by that snubble that's insane that's you won't believe how i lost <laughs> anyways thanks for watching this piece of video if you enjoyed leave a like on the video and also subscribe to help me on the road to hitting 4,000 subscribers if you haven't subscribed to the channel already make sure you guys help me reach 4k we're close to 3,900 subscribers so if you guys want to help me reach 3,900, that'd be great. And if you guys want to help me reach 4K, that'd be great. And again, check out Card Cavern TCG down in the description below. And again, if you guys ever need to buy anything out there, again, use code LDF for the discount on your purchase. Gramble can go die in a fire. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.